Yo, what's going on YouTube? So recently there was a plugin made by Excel Drill called the audio, the audio monitoring plugin. And I noticed a lot of YouTubers, a lot of big names too, are saying that this is actually the voice meter killer. And I understand the reason why they're saying that. I hate to be this guy, but it's not a voice meter replacement at all. It's a very cool plugin and there's a lot of uses for it. However, it's not a replacement or an alternative to voice meter whatsoever. Voice meter is used to separate your audio audio sources before even sending it into OBS so that you can separate things like your browser audio, your music audio, your desktop audio, and apply separate filters within OBS to have the ultimate audio mix stream for your stream. Instead of having your music and browser audio on your desktop audio source, you can have three different audio sources with three different sets of filters, whether it be compression, side chaining, this and that, so that you can optimize the overall audio experience on your stream. And that's the benefit of utilizing voice meter. The audio monitor plugin is a really cool plugin that allows you to send the output of audio sources to different uh, audio outputs that you have on your computer, allowing you to monitor the audio in different ways or send certain audio to the stream that you don't hear or you do hear at a different volume level. So we're going to take a look at this filter really quick. We're going to talk a little bit about why it's not a replacement for voice meter, why voice meter is still a, an essential tool uh, for your virtual mixing needs, but we're going to talk about what makes the audio monitor plugin very cool and some things that I think would really be beneficial um, regarding this plugin. If you guys like content like this, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go ahead and check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash the Francois, and we're going to dive right into this one. Using the link in the description below, you will be able to get this audio monitoring plugin. Make sure you download the Windows installer so that you can just run that exe file and have the audio automatically installed into OBS. So let's head over to OBS and take a look. Before we continue, uh, I do want to let you guys know that me and Avermedia are doing a giveaway. If you guys want a streamer kit or a chance for a streamer kit, absolutely free. Make sure you follow the link in the description below for that giveaway. There's some things you got to do, like follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, that sort of thing. So definitely join the giveaway for a chance at some free gear. And if you want higher chances of you actually winning, you'll need to actually share this video and retweet the tweet that I made about the giveaway uh, because the more people that join the giveaway is a higher chance that our community will win, therefore a higher chance for you to win. So. Let's jump in. Without the audio monitor plugin, this is what my OBS looks like. What you'll notice in my audio mixer already is I have browser audio, communication audio, desktop audio, microphone audio, and music audio. Five different audio sources completely separated in OBS so that I can apply special filters to each one of those sources. One very important filter is a sign chain filter. So every time I speak, it decreases the volume of everything else just like a little bit, and it adds a whole new level of professional professionalism to your stream. This is the overall value of having voice meter as your virtual audio mixer on your desktop. Without voice meter, without the actual application, you won't be able to separate your audio sources and then input them into OBS the way that I have them here. With the audio monitoring plugin, after you install it, all you need to do is go over to view, go to the docs and go to the audio monitor. This will pop up a new, uh, a new little dock down here. Um, let me go ahead and double this up here. This is what the audio monitor plugin looks like. The way you get an audio source to pop up onto the audio monitor section is very simple. You go to your audio mixer, you go to one of your audio sources. Let's go to my micro microphone, for example, in the filters, you'll have a new filter called the audio monitor. All you got to do is hit plus add a new audio monitor and then it will be monitoring for you right now it's going to my default device so you're hearing a doubling effect happen there when i do that because it's sending the output of that source to my default device on my computer. So the cool thing about this plug, and if we go back to the microphone filters and we look at the two audio monitoring devices that I created, you can actually send the output of this audio source to multiple different outputs. So if you wanted to monitor your microphone on your speakers and on your headphones at the same time, you could do so. You could also send it to, for example, your capture card audio. And this is where I think this, this plugin comes in um, as a really big player. It is not a virtual audio mixer replacement. 
okay you still need voice meter in order to separate your audio sources within obs but there is a really cool use for this plugin you can send the audio already mixed and mastered with the sidechain filters and all of that directly over to your capture card audio source on your streaming pc for instance this audio source here i can go ahead and rename it to my capture card audio or my stream pc audio the reason i want to do this is because i have certain filters filters applied within OBS to maximize the audio quality on my stream. Sending audio over to the streaming PC requires some complicated mix of utilizing VBAN and setting up voice meter on the streaming PC and separating all the audio sources and it becomes a huge mess. Sending every single audio source already mixed and mastered, so your browser audio, your music audio, your game audio, your communication audio, so Discord, things like that, over to the streaming PC utilizing the audio monitoring plugin allows you to have all of those filters that you have applied to those sources on the stream PC and it makes that whole setup process just so much easier what you can do is simply select the capture card source or the output device for your capture card uh, within the filters here and send that audio directly to the stream PC via that source, which I think is incredible. If you plan on using this plugin in that way, you do wanna make sure that in the filters, you have the audio monitoring plugin at the bottom of the filters list so that the other filters are processed before that filter. Otherwise, you won't be sending the audio over with the other filters applied to that audio. It will just be before that the, the other filters are in place, if that makes sense. So overall, this plugin is really cool. It's a cool concept being able to send the audio of a certain source um, to multiple different outputs, giving you some more monitoring options there. Um, and, and, and then also allowing you to, you know, adjust the volume of what the stream hears and what you hear separately. However, I do think that a lot of that can be done with voice meter and it's a lot better to utilize voice meter for your audio separating needs. I think voice meter is definitely the winner um, because you can't separate your audio sources uh, within OBS using the audio monitoring plugin. So voice meter is still a necessary tool. However, the plugin is very cool. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making this video. Uh, the plugin is very cool. If there are certain uses that I didn't mention in this video, make sure you leave those in the comments below because I'm sure there's a lot of cool ways to utilize this plugin that I'm not thinking about. One of my Audio Ninja actually talked about uh, having the alerts, sending the alerts to voice meter uh, via the audio monitoring plugin, which is something that you wouldn't be able to do before, uh, which is a really neat concept. So there's some, there's some cool stuff that can come out of this plugin and I'm interested in what you guys have in mind for it as well. If you guys like this video, make sure you like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more content like this. I appreciate you guys being here and I will catch you in my next video. Peace.